Let's go to the motivator voice. Um, and this is a strength of the motivator. The strength of the motivator is connection, kind of opposite of the teacher. So as a motivator, if, you, if you're a motivator voice, what that means is, is that you, you kind of go up on the stage and, or behind the pulpit and you got energy and you've just got this natural enthusiasm and you immediately can connect with a crowd, okay? You're, you're, you've got this connection. There's a natural likability about you. There's a natural enthusiasm about you. There's just a contagious spirit about you. And so in the first five or 10 minutes, the audience is like, oh, this is awesome. I like her. I like him. This is great. You're funny. You're energetic. You're, and this is, this is Casey uh, in many respects. I would say you're motivator visionary. Um, but in the first five or 10 minutes, it's funny to me for, to hear that somebody told Casey he would never be a communicator when he's an incredible <laughs> communicator. He just went to this uh, leadership coaching conference a few months ago and just absolutely crushed it. Because um, you were my coach. Well, that's true. You <laughs> they, 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 all need, they all need you as their coach. So this always goes back to you're the coach. It always goes back to that. Right, right. right. So Casey can, you know, leap on the stage and just suddenly everybody's looking at him. Okay, so that's great. So as the motivator, you're already at, you're already ahead of the game early on. Um, but but here here's the weakness, okay? And hang with me. The weakness of the motivator is content. And as motivators, and this is my voice, we can assume that if we engage everybody in the first five or ten minutes, that's all it takes. So we tell funny stories, we're great, it's, you know, it's, it's very energetic, but at the end of the day, what happens is, is I've coached motivators, their content's really weak. Now let me tell you where this plays out in the, in the real world. You know, if, you're, if you've ever been to a conference and they, they, they bring in the quarterback who won the Super Bowl, right? Or they won, bring in the person who won 18 gold medals or whatever. They'll tell you these great stories, and then at the end, their content is, you know, never give up. You know, like, well, okay, that was great. I appreciate what you did, but the content was really kind of thin, okay? That's what happens with motivators. Their content's really thin. So to help you with that, here's what's, here's what's important for the motivator. For the motivator, this is talking about what's most important for the audience. The what is most important. Okay, it's not necessarily uh, the connection, it's the what. What do I mean by that? Well, here, answer this question for your, uh, for your audience. What do I want you to do? Okay, what do I want you to do with this content? Because again, here's why, here's why this is important for a motivator. You can assume that if you engaged your audience, nobody fell asleep, then that was the goal. That's not the goal for the motivator you're naturally going to engage the audience. And this is what I've shared with Casey. You're naturally going to engage us, but I need you to have a very crisp and clear bottom line or action item. What do you want me to do, okay? Think of it this way. For the motivator, when you're done, what is the tweetable moment of your presentation? What is the tweetable moment? When you figure out that, that's your talk. Hone in on that and tell the audience, hey, this is what I want you to do. If you, can, if you can take your natural energy as a motivator and then answer this question and develop content that's very substantial, it's a grand slam. But if you're not careful, you can naturally lean on your own presentation skills. And here's, what's the, here's the danger. Here's what the guy that we just you know, sent out that tweet, I'm going to this lunch and I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. Here's what he's probably leaning into. He's leaning into his natural gifting as a communicator, but his content is really thin. And how do I know that? I haven't heard it because he didn't, he doesn't even know what he's going to talk about. Okay. So you have to have to prepare. So that's kind of the motivator voice. Sound good?